Hi Aries, what's up? I hope everything is right for you and you are doing great. Now this is your love reading for the last week of January and I want to view all the energies. Let's see what is the first card here. I see indecision. I think you are going to make an important decision very soon. You have options, but you are confused, you are unsure. Let's start with shuffling first the deck and checking the energies. Okay, what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment is you have no idea if this communication will start. You may have been watching them, checking on them, maybe wanting to find out what's up with their love life, wanting to know if they are still interested on you. That kind of energy, that kind of thinking. And you're not sure if the communication will happen there. You're not sure if they are checking on you as well. What about what was the main challenge in the past? Lots of waiting and very little progress. I think they turned their back on you and you kept waiting for them. They were passive aggressive. They were not taking action. You were confused by them. How do you view the situation? You do believe that the person that lied to you that was not honest will return one day. And uh, you have this idea and this bothers you, this stresses you a lot. You want to be happy again, you are not sure. You want to have this hope that they will say sorry. That they will accept whatever they did wrong or take responsibility. And be more mature. Now, you don't want to be waiting forever. I see you being guarded. You haven't given up. You have been hurt. You're waiting. But you don't like this kind of position. And your fear is that castle that you try to build, maybe even in your dreams, has been heavily damaged and has revealed you some truths that may seem bitter, like the foundation of that connection was not that stable, was not that solid. Now, I want to view about the current energies. Let's see what are the current energies at this moment or very soon. Look, this these are very good cards, Four of Wands and the World card. I think you have this great potential to be in a connection. I'm not quite sure with somebody from the past or new, but you will be in a relationship that will be much more stable than the last one. And hopefully this will lead to something important like celebration and marriage or long-term commitment. I have the world and the four of wands. Fire sign, maybe another Aries or Leo or Sagittarius, but maybe a fixed sign as well, or they have this combination of fire with fixed signs. So I have Aquarius, I have Taurus, Leo is fire sign, and Scorpio. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. This seems like a very good energy, but I want to view more about this. How will you know? Who is this person? Two of Wands reversed. Why the Two of Wands reversed? The Hangman. Okay, something that I'm getting here is that there may be some hesitation. 
Now, it promises long-term happy commitment, but it is not saying that you will rush into this relationship, important relationship, immediately. And I do like, in fact, this kind of energy because you will get to know better that this is stable, this is secure, and there's some guarantee that when uh, some time has passed, there are proven facts and experiences that something serious is coming out of it. So, an important connection, but it will not start very soon, or it will be gradual. I have Pisces here as well. A person that thinks a lot. Not only that, but take this as a side story. This may resonate with you later. You may be dealing with somebody that is with somebody else already, or they are breaking up with them. And after that breakup, they will be with you. Or they may have broken up, but in their energy is the other person. They do think a lot about them as well. But the connection with you will start slowly and they will uh, get detached completely from the past person and you will be together. That's the kind of energies I'm getting with the Two of Wands reversed, Four of Wands as well. You will be moving in together, living together, celebrating the love, marrying. I see marriage there in the future. Maybe this is the title of this video. But let's see about this person that is on your mind. Let's see what are their current energies towards you. They have a big ego. It's quite interesting that this person has been waiting to see some action from you. They have been waiting for you to reach out. I don't know if you have been acting or even if you tried, they thought that you have shown much more active energy or pursue them, chase them. They are focusing on themselves a lot. They have been waiting for progress here. They have been waiting for a happy reunion with you. But they are very upset that you didn't show much attention. And now they are starting to create this idea that there's no potential long term with you both. They are trying to open a new chapter in their love life. Okay, I will continue this reading in the extended now. I want to view more details if you are interested. First, I want to see more details about this important connection. I think this will be long-term and one of the most serious important connections you ever had. And it will start or it has started already. And I want to view more about the energies of this person that is on your mind. Mostly I will be focusing on the person that is on your mind, their energies, their feelings, how they view you, uh, your energies as well, uh, the mutual en energies with this uh, past person or the person on your mind. And I want to view these two cards that will reveal more details. Okay. I have three of swords reverse and the nine of cups. Let's uh, jump to the extended and let's see more details about this reading if you are interested. Thank you for watching. See you in the next reading and bye for now.